Okay. Ferdinand de Saussure taught a course in journal and linguistics in 1891 to 1912. He's famous for the concept of the sign signified and signifier. In the arbitrary nature of the sign, Saussure makes up how we break apart the sign. The signified is a mental concept of the thing we are talking about. The signifier is a sound image of the concept, which could be sound, written words, or pictures. Both of these work together and their relationship is called the signification. The sign is the whole that results from the signifier and signified. So if we were to think of a tree, the idea of the tree and what it represents would mean the signified. The word tree and the sound I make when I say the word tree represents the signifier. The relationship between the two would be known as the signification and as a whole they represent the sign. I'm sure you're wondering if there could be any exceptions to this rule, and you might think that automatopoeia might be one. However, if you think about the sound a dog makes and the signifiers that exist, every language has a different way of interpreting the way a dog sounds. In English, we might say that a dog says woof woof, but in Bengali, they say bow bow. Speaking of the signifier and the signified, the value is the collective meaning that we assign to both of those. This would mean the value of mutton versus the value of sheep the value of a quarter versus the value of a muffin. The syntagm is the linear relationship of the phrase which gives it meaning. For example, the sentence, the girl sat on the chair, is much different than the chair sat on the girl because of the linear relationships of the words chair and girl. The association is the metonymy of the words, such as cat is associated with whiskers, sleeping, comfort, etc. Together, the signifier and the signified are a negative fact. One cannot exist without the other. Therefore, each of them are negative. Saussure believes that together they make a positive fact, but actually we know things relationally and not positively. To conclude, Saussure was a structuralist, so he thinks about things in terms of its structure and linguistics. He's more interested in the grammar, language, and rules instead of the content. His ideas have shaped the way we know linguistics and structuralism today. Thank you.